Hi, I'm Moby the All Seeing Camera. We are back to the channel with another one. We are here today to react to Week 4 Supreme. Week 4 will release on St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. So I'm like, yo, we're going to see some St. Patty stuff. We're going to see a little dripped out leprechaun on the Supreme drop this week. Let me know. Also, what you guys think? What y'all think? We're going to see some little luck of the Irish, the little leprechaun from the hood, and some Supreme drip. Let's jump right into this and not waste no more time. But you guys know, for the ones that this is your first time seeing a uh, this is your first time trying to hit on Supreme. Please know it releases Thursday at 11 a.m. If there's something you really, really, really want, I suggest you get that 1050 and just start refreshing the page. 1059, I'm just tapping refresh nonstop. Uh, until I bust and I hit that item that I'm looking for. First item for the week, uncut box logo skateboard. Ooh, yo, this is the weirdest looking skateboard I've ever seen in my life, but non-cut. As it's still giving that straight rectangular look, usually I'm assuming that they cut the wood, you know, to be a little oval that you usually see in skateboards. An uncut board, looking like a snowboard on wheels. This shit is definitely fire, though. The all red, red board, this is dope. And if you need a wall piece, I feel like this is it. This might be one of the first ones. Yeah, I've been looking for a skate deck to start my collection. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is it. This is a piece that I would love to start a collection with. I actually like it a lot. And that red is probably going to release in more than one color. But all we know right now is going to release just in his red. Retail will be $58. Retail will be $58. I think it's definitely a cop. I think it's a huge cop. And if you have a collection, I automatically think it's a cop. If you're looking for the resell, I always say I don't know how these shits resell, but they always usually resell good every single week. I'm just not really a skate deck like buyer, so I don't really like, you know, I don't want to give you guys false information. But this, if I had to guess, this is one that's probably going to flip. And if it doesn't, just throw it up on your wall or some shit. Second item, Supreme Ambergram Keychain, black and red. It's cool. Is it something that I'll be going for? Nah, I don't even have a Supreme Keychain, and I actually want one. But I don't think I want this to be it. Original artwork done by Mark, by Mark Palmer. Retail price, $22. It's not a bad piece. If you want it, grab it. Is it something I like? I don't know. I don't like it. I don't even like the artwork too much. Uh, not a fan of it. Oh, wait, hold on. Also, if you flip the keychain... That's all we can see on the app. So one side says Supreme. When you flip it, it says fucking. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's cool. Like, if this is if you're a fan of it, definitely cop. And you can get, you know. And it depends on what side they're looking at your keychain. They might see Supreme. They might see fucking. This is tough. I like this piece here. Supreme Ink Block SS Top. Short sleeve top. I, it's releasing in five colors. Black and gray. Cream and black. Brown and black. Blue and lighter blue. Pink, light purple with dark purple. Yeah, I think that navy, they're all super tough. I'm not going to lie to you. They're all super tough. But I would go on this, that purple, navy, then that cream. These shits is tough, 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 tough. I like it. And you guys can see the artwork in the front. It's basically just like if somebody drew, you know, like the, the little sticks that they be drawing art and shit on the buildings and stuff with? It looks like they drew that with just, they, they use that to draw Supreme. I think it's fire, though. I really like this tee. Now, after seeing the navy one closer, I really like the purple one the most. That purple one is super dope, just because you can see the artwork the best. And I love the light purple that they use. And it's getting hot outside, so you know we need to get more brighter colors in our wardrobe. Also, retail for this shirt is going to be $78. 78 retail. Next piece, Supreme Hooded Down Pullover. <sighs> this is an everyday spring jacket. I can see somebody rocking this shit every single day during the spring. Brush cotton blend with downfield interior quilted baffles and embossed logo lining. Half zip closure with on seam zip hand pockets at lower front, zip pocket pouch at chest with Velcro flap, interior draw cords with cord stoppers at fixed hood. Yeah, this shit is a heavy hitter. This is hot. It's, it's going to come out in three colors. Solid black, solid royal blue, and like a greenish brown. In the bottom of all three of them, and your lower left-hand side to be exact, is going to be a red Supreme box logo as the brand call-out. And it looks like that's the only... Oh, actually, no. On the back of the pullover as well, right in the center of your back, there's once again a small Supreme red box logo call-out. I think it's tough. I really... I think if you need a spring jacket or you're looking for something that you could wear a lot in the springtime, you know, if you're exercising or just if you're doing a couple of things, I think this shit is tough. Uh, retail price for this piece is going to be 268 of them things. $268. Depen I was going to say depends on the quality. Yo, what Supreme is talking about? 
But um, I don't know. If you like it, I can see it. And if this is a piece that you need, like, yo, I need a winter jacket or I need something. I mean, a spring jacket or something I could wear as a pullover heavy in the springtime, I would do it. I like it. Am I going to cop? Probably not. We're not going to see the unboxing on this channel, but I do like it. I do think it's tough. Next item, Supreme Laced Hooded Sweatshirt. Releasing in five colors, black and white, purple and white, brown and black, icy blue, also Yeezy Slate, as I like to say, with white or white and red. Let's zoom up and see the... Oh, that's that's tough, though. I'm not going to hold you. So they did the Supreme lettering, but you know lace, like how Shodi's be having like those pieces, like the, like the little blouses in the wintertime that like actual cotton... Cotton chest, but then the arms are laced and kind of see-through, and you can see all the little flowers and feathers and all the cool little designs. That's what they did here on the Supreme Box logo. I think it's tough. I really think it's tough. I like it. I'm not going to lie to you. I like it more than I expected. And this piece, I like the slate the most. I like the slate the most. That slate is tough. Is this something we're going to get? Probably not. $158 retail. If I do see this for sale, though, which I don't think I can see this selling out. But if we do see this on sale, this is something I would definitely grab. We got hat pins. Yo, I've been looking for hat pins for so long for Supreme. And like, no bullshit. There was like one that dropped that I probably should have got. I think it was the it was the snowman. It was like around that snowman time. That one was tough. Other than that, I haven't like the eyes. I don't like none of the pins that have been dropping. So this one is a bullet hole pin. Original artwork by Nate Loman. I don't know. I don't really want to have bullet holes on me. Like, I just feel like that shit is bad luck. I don't really like art. I don't really like clothing that has bullet holes on it. I don't even like, like, decals for vehicles. I don't like anything with bullet holes on it. It's never been, I've never been a fan of it. I've seen dudes that got tattoos with bullet holes on it. I'm like, yo, if that shit ain't, y'all won't walk in front of a black cat, but your tattoo bullet holes on you, I think y'all got your bad luck mixed up. I think y'all got your bad luck mixed up. I'm not putting no bullet holes on me. This is definitely a skip for me. But the ones that need it and want it, $10 retail. Ambergram hooded sweatshirt supreme supreme. Oh, this is the one that says supreme and then if you look at it the wrong way It says fucking or you didn't like the keychain that much You want a hoodie with it on instead or you just like the keychain that much that you want the keychain and the hoodie This is for you released in five different colors black and white I would say like a dark pink and black heather gray and black Indigo and white and then a yellow with a dark burgundy red Again, I didn't really like the lettering on the keychain, so I'm not going to like it on a hoodie. I'm not the biggest fan. What do you guys think? Is this something that you would cop? Me, I would definitely probably skip. It's a supreme when they're looking back at you and you're walking with the hoodie down. As soon as you put that hoodie on, though, it's going to say fucking across your head. <laughs> Cotton fleece with embroidered logos. Artwork done by Mark Palmer. Retail, $158. I, for me, it's going to be a skip. What do you guys think? I'm actually curious. Do you guys like this fucking Supreme thing flipped? Comment down below. I actually want to know what you think about it. Me, not the biggest fan. Supreme Stitch Jackard Camp Cap. Releasing in five colors. No, sorry. Releasing in six colors. Navy and white. Gray and red. Purple and white. Yellow and white. Red and white. Black and white. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the little, like, holes, and I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it. Retail for it for the ones that are a fan, though, 48 bucks. Uh, that's a quick skip for me. Supreme slash Scott leather work jacket. This shit's tough, I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I, I didn't think I was going to like this too much, but I could see somebody freaking this. Like, lambskin leather with jacket logo lining snap front closure with welt hand pockets at lower front patch pockets at chest with interior chest pocket snap closures at cuffs enamel pin located made in the u.s exclusively for supreme i don't like the black one too much which is weird i don't know why i don't like the black one too much but this tan one is cool it's smooth i like it more in the tan with the you have a small on on your left side of the on your left side of the leather jacket you have a small Supreme call out. It's cool. Is it something that I would buy? Definitely not. I'm Dynasty. What's the price on this? The price on this jacket. I guess it's not the worst thing for Supreme leather, but $698. Is this something that you guys would cop? Do you like? I don't like it that much. I don't know. I don't know. That shit ain't that smooth. I don't even really like it too much. I just thought, you know, it's a smooth jacket. You could dress up or dress down, but for $698, i am good. Supreme Eagle Moto Jersey. Releasing in three colors. Green, blue, and black. Yo, I usually be, I usually don't like these jerseys. Like, I remember last time I did the one with the dragon on it. I didn't like it. Meek, I saw Meek wearing it one time. And the way that Meek wore it, which is shocking, because I really am not the biggest fan of how Meek dresses. But 
the way that Meek wore it, I'm not gonna lie, it was tough. I was like, yeah, nah, nah, you made me a fan. I like it now. And I can see, I, I actually like this one more than that whole eagle. I mean, that more than that dragon one. This eagle one's actually kind of cool. Like, it's smooth. 11, untouchable, MVP, 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 Supreme, 29 and 0. Has the eagle with the box logo on the chest. I think it's smooth. I don't know what you guys think. I think it's smooth. Got the little S's around the cuffs, around your wrist. It's cool. I like all three colors as well. The green. Green gives me like a Mexico, Italy vibe. If you're Mexican or Italian, that green, that green. If not, I think I would fuck with that. Either that blue. I, I like all three of them. They're cool. Is this something I would cop? Probably not once again. Poly mesh material. Price is 138 Hey, for my cat daddies. My old heads in here. Supreme Kango Venter, Ventar logo, which is basically them old shaft, you know, them old school hats that people be wearing backwards and the little like flat be out backwards, you know, looking like a Black Panther party. Or you just playing dominoes in the side of your block on Harlem. This is the hat for you. Releasing in three, releasing in six colors black, cream, blue, orange, teal, and brown. Yo, for your daddy, like if your dad wears some shit like this, you know your dad always walk around with a, and it's a Kangol, he probably won't even know what Supreme is, but as long as it's Kangol, he'll be in. A Kangol Supreme? Nah, that shit's smooth. Retail for $78. Is this something that I would wear? Definitely not, but if you're an art major at some school, that's probably shit that you'd be wearing. So, if that's you, I can see you copping, I can see you rocking it. Me? I don't know. Supreme Nate Loman double knee painter pants. All right, well, this is going to be quick for me to say. You guys know how I feel about these bullet holes. The bullet holes look a little bit better on the jeans, I guess, because of the artwork, but it's just not something that I would wear. I'm good. Coming out in three colors, blue jean, black jean, and an off-white cream. The bullet holes do look cooler on the pants, but no, nah, I'm not a fan at all, at all. Even if I saw these on sale, I probably wouldn't cop. Retail for them is going to be $188 at that. I'm definitely skipping, hard skip. Supreme Kango Ventar logo space cap. Hey, they got the basically like a dad hat. Six colors, brown, teal, orange, cream, blue, and black. On the front, we have the Kango. And then Supreme is like stitched into the hat, into the hat design going right around the cap. Not a fan of this shit either. But, but, but if you bought your dad, the, you know, the little flat back one. You know what I'm talking about, the old school hat. Ah, where you going? Who you with? You know, that uncle. If you bought him that hat, then I get it. You want to match with your daddy? You want to stunt like your daddy? Cop, cop a matching one. I wouldn't wear the other Kango shit, but I would wear the little dad hat. So my dad, if I was to cop him the other one, if he was a Kango user, I would have got myself the matching color in this style. But neither one's going to be purchased. Oh, retail for $68. Must I say once again, skip. Nate Loman, work vest. This is probably the best shit I've seen with these bullet holes. Don't tell me he did everything with these bullet holes. Maybe that's his signature style. Like, is that his style? I don't know. I hope not because I'm not a fan of it at all. And I don't like the blue jean because the blue, at least the other colors, the bullet holes are at least colorful, you know, give you more of a fun type. And the blue jean, that shit is, you know what that is. That shit like metal ripping through your whip when they like, blang, 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 blang. Like you call every bullet to the chest. I don't want this shit on me. I don't want this on me. Retail for it is going to be $188. Coming out in three colors. I'm not sure if we went over it, but cream with the black collar, jean with the black collar, black with the black collar. Both of them have the, all three of them actually have the orange interior. All cotton canvas with fill and quilted cotton pop-in lining. Full zip closure with patch pockets at front, at lower front, and knit rib collar. Printed graphics at front and back. Original artwork by Nate Loman. Nah, I'm good. It's a skippy, skip, skip, skip for me. Yeah, this week is looking like I'm saving some money is what it's looking like to me. This week... It's looking like I'm saving some money unless I get a skateboard. Like, unless I get a skateboard, nothing I really want so far. But before we finish the wrap-up for this week, make sure you subscribe to the channel. As you guys know, we're on the road to 2,000 subs. We are almost there. So sub up, sub up, sub up, sub up, and like this video. Why are you down there? Nate Loman hooded sweatshirt. Cotton fleece original artwork by Nate Loman. Coming out in three colors. Black with the bullet holes. Red with the bullet holes. And then cream with the bullet hose. I still don't like it, but I want to tell you guys something different than me repeatedly saying I don't like this print. I guess if I was to cop one, I would like the cream more just because I like the colorful colors on it. It doesn't, like, I don't know. I feel like you would have to look harder. Like, oh, shit, those are bullet hose. Where on the red has that, I don't know. Red and the black, I'm not a big fan of it. I guess the cream, but I'm not a fan of any of the above. Is there any Supreme call-out even on this piece at all? 
No, I don't think you get any Supreme call out on these. Other than you guys know in the hoodie, there's always that little hang tag, the small little hang tag in the inside, and it says Supreme. I know this has it because they all have it. But other than that, yeah, I can see it. You can see it right there on the bottom left-hand corner. Other than that, I think that's your only Supreme call out. I'm good. That's a hunt. $178 is retail as well. Oh, Lord. That's an easy skip. I'm saving money. Nate Loman sweater. Oh, Lord. Should we just stop here? Should we just wrap it up and call it a day? All right. They're coming out in three colors. Red, black, white. I don't like neither. Skip, skip, skip. Retail, 168 Artwork by Nate Loman. Nate, you... Nate, Nate. I don't want to disrespect you because I don't like to shit on nobody's art because art is by... Is by the, the beauties and the beholder. You get me? Someone probably sees it. And I was like, oh my God, I love this design. I'm buying everything. I heard some people say that the North Face was actually whack this year, that they didn't like the North Face bleach. Bro, the North Face bleach is probably one of my favorite North Face prints in a while. In a while. In a while. In a while. I've went back. I've seen even the old ones. I'd be window shopping Supreme and North Face all the time, too. And to, like the ones I didn't hit. And that bleach print, both of them, the black one that I copped, which I'm probably going to flip, but the black one that I got. And then the navy, the blue indigo one that I didn't get, that blue one is tough, tough. I'm even debating that the blue one might even be harder. No bullshit. I keep looking at them. That blue one was crazy. And the pieces that released with it, the pants, the, I should have caught more. I actually liked it a lot. But a lot of people didn't like it. So you see? You see? It depends on who it is. So there's probably some out there that loves Nate Lohman's work. Me? You let me down, buddy. You had a collab with Supreme and this is what the fuck you came with? Mm-mm. Supreme mini plaid hooded shirt. $138, releasing in four colors. Fusion pink with like orange, white and black, blue and black. And I would say a multi green and brown. All cotton flannel. These flannels also come with a hood. I'm not sure if that would make it or break it for you, but these come with a hoodie. Retail price, $138. I don't even want to waste your time and give you some, some useless information. This is going to be a skip for me. Not a fan. Don't like it. I'm good. Before we skip on the bottom left hand side of the shirt, you do get a supreme, you do get a supreme call out, and it's back to that same print that I told you guys I didn't like with the fucking and the supreme. Oh, actually no, it's not. It's just supreme and like a cursive old English writing, embroidered right on the left side, right under the pocket. I'm not a fan of it. I'm good. And for the last piece, supreme Nate Loman SS shirt. Looks like a bowling shirt, button-up shirt, coming out in three colors. Yellow, white, and black. Skip, skip, and skip. Yo, we saving money this week. Retail, $148. With that being said, we are done wrapping up week four. I think week four is the weakest week we have reviewed yet. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think, though. Are you, you think I'm tripping? You're like, nah, this Nate Loman shit is fire. Bullet holes. I'm about to be walking around the streets looking like this. I just got riddled up in the Valentine's Day massacre. Y'all let me know. Is that the look you're going for? Is that the look you're going for? Me, I'm gonna probably skip out on this one. I'm saving some money. I'm saving some money. I usually be feeling bad when I don't want to cop some shit, but this week, we saving some money. Comment down below. Let me know your favorite piece. If you had a favorite piece, my favorite piece is skateboard. My favorite piece is skateboard and the ink blot tee. I forgot about that. And then the laced hooded sweatshirt. Those probably in that three order. Nothing that I really going crazy to cop, so I'm probably going to just sit out this week. Maybe I'll cop the skateboard. We'll see how I feel. Maybe I'll grab the ink tea. I don't think I am, but we'll see. And with that being said, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Why are you going to do that? Because we're on the road to 2,000 subs. We almost there, so just sub up, sub up, sub up, and sub up. Hand like I love to say until the next one. We out of here.